Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Hoplite video. In today's game, I fight one of the best players on the server. With over 100 wins and 2,000 eliminations, putting them on leaderboards in both categories. You're going to have to watch the video to find out who it is. If you're new here, make sure to drop a sub and I hope you enjoy the video. I think I finally fixed my mic. I think I got a pretty good job. Uh, maybe not. The leaves in my way. Can we get land? Uh, no, no, no. I have sold the bag, guys. I have sold the bag. Book room, book room. Where's it at? Over here. Everyone's going for books. I need that stuff. I just need the books. Come on. Come on. Can oh, I made the best book in Hot <laughs> Blade Battle Royale. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> chill, chill. Yo, my bad, my bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was reduced. I think that was X reduced. He's another mod on here. He's actually really good. Like, kind of got to be careful. At least I got books. At this point, you guys have seen the other two videos. You know the drill. I like to go looter kit and I like to try and get Grimoire every game. You know, the fire sword is OP. You can never go wrong with a fire sword. Unless the enemy has magma club and your fire sword is kind of useless. So yeah, we're just going to grab our stone tools and then try and grab the other ingredients we need for ingredients? Materials? I don't know. They both work. Whatever. Who cares? <laughs> All right, we got our stone tools. Then we can just grab a few more trees then grab our sand over here. I say we cut one more tree, grab our sand, grab a chicken, go down, find about, I don't know, maybe a good 20 diamonds or so. I don't know, maybe go to zero, zero. Let's get 15 or, man, let's just get 20 kills and win the game. I don't know, something slight, you guys know. We got our sand. Now all we need to find is chickens because we got to get our feathers before we go down. Okay, we got some chickens. Then we're just going to hit that cave right there head down and yeah so honestly i can't believe the support that we got on our first video is actually pretty insane oh and we got a golden apple out of that nice but um at the time i'm recording this my first video has i think it has right under 3,000 views i think it was at 2,900 the last time i checked which uh, even even that's insane i was expecting maybe like 100 like views on that video all right based on our c counter it looks like we might have a cave this way i've actually never used c counter before so the c counter actually works that was the first time i've actually ever used that to find a cave if you guys look in the top left of my screen you'll see my fps and you'll see the c and it has like the 149 out of like a, a bunch of blocks stuff like that Okay, I don't know how to describe this very well. From what I'm told, the higher the number is, the more like space is in that area. And by space, I mean just like open space, like all this like area that the blocks are not. So pretty much where a cave is going to be. This cave looks pretty solid. So hopefully we can get something good out of it. Oh, we got another gap. Nice. Honestly, I'm tempted to just farm cave spiders and just keep getting gaps if we're going to be this lucky. I think I fixed my mic quality. I know in the first video, my audio sounded a little bit in the left. And then in my second video, it sounded a little bit in the back of people's headsets. But I think I finally fixed it to where it should sound pretty normal. I think if it doesn't, let me know and I will just get a new mic. Because <laughs> at this point, I don't really know what to do. Hmm. All right, this part of the cave opens up a little bit. So we're going to explore this. I do see some gold over here. Let's go ahead and grab this. We can also make some buckets and then grab our water. All right, we got two buckets for our water and one for our lava. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember that part of the video where I said I was going to get 20 diamonds, but I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Oh, we have diamonds right here. I don't know how I missed these. All right, okay, so we do have enough diamonds for Grimoire. Um, I can go ahead and make that if I really want to. We just have to grab this water source. So there is another player in our cave. So we're going to try and get our Grimoire stuff pretty quickly. All right, we got our obsidian. All right, then we're going to head up here because I did see some copper up here, which we're going to use for another reactor core. We're going to place our sand. Okay, we got our sand. Then we got to turn it into blue glass. And then grab our another reactor core. We do want to make our iron armor. That way we don't die to any of the crazy mobs that might spawn. All right, so we got our full iron and then we're going to place our another reactor core. Oh, kill that got that and got that we got a gas here i'm pretty sure i can make a totem of undying with that all right but just to finish this off quickly we gotta do this do this we gotta make our glass bottles make our enchant bottles and then we just have to make a diamond sword and that should be it i'm pretty sure all right so we got grimoire let's make our diamond sword make our anvil and we can put that there we can go ahead and make our two apples as well we might as well make this 
let's just head up to zero zero and hopefully get a few kills we are pretty far out which kind of sucks but we do have our fire sword which i'm definitely not going to complain about i'll always take a little bit more time just to make our fire sword because i definitely always think it's worth it all right hopefully we could run into somebody on the way to zero zero i'm going to try and run around this mountain oh we do have somebody back here okay nice let's go buddy Dude, this guy's so laggy. He's on six though. Dude, this guy's just so laggy. That's a bit annoying. We took a bunch of extra damage there just because that guy's super laggy. That's one of the super annoying things about this version. Laggy players just have such a weird advantage. They're like their knockback is so <laughs> that's not fun. So we're gonna make an Aries. Um and I am gonna get a gap now. Hopefully we can get something good out of this Aries though. Insta three. Um not bad. I'll take it. We're gonna drink our Insta-3 now and see who this is. All right, let's fight this guy. All right, he's on seven. This player also has enchants, so this should be a pretty good kill right here. He's gonna hop in the water. All right, we got him, nice. So we can actually make a G head. Now let's just head to zero zero, finally. We got two kills pretty far out from, oh, we might be able to get another kill this far out from zero zero. I don't know what is going on. Why are there so many players this far? I think this is maybe this is why I can never find players at zero zero because for some reason they just all want to be at the border. <laughs> I'm literally 300. I'm, I'm 300 blocks out. I don't know why there's so many players out here. We got two kills. And I also see another player over here. Oh, you have Enderbell. We might be able to kill this guy. We also might not. I feel like. Oh, okay. I could. Don't just pro on him, yeah. Alright, we got a few good kits on him. I don't want him to be able to use his bow to get away. That's why I use my pro right there. Um This is working out in our favor for sure. Um one hit, nice. We got him, we got his diamond boots and we got Ender Bow, which is actually really good. Is there anything I can make? I can make another G head. We're gonna do that. And I think I can also make a gap. We can actually make tracker packs too. I'll do that. Yeah, if you guys don't know where Tracker Pack is, it's actually a craft in the game that spawns a few dogs on you, and the dogs lead you to players, and they kind of like fight by your side a little bit. They're really annoying to deal with. But yeah, now that they're on our side, I'll take the advantage, but let's just check out zero zero, see if I can find anybody before we use them. So I'm not seeing anybody here, so we're gonna go ahead and use one of them. It looks like it's leading us this way, so that means that there's a player somewhere in this direction. I can't tell who this is. Right, we're just gonna go ahead and use our Ender Bow to catch up to this guy. All right, he's on 24. We got 10 seconds until our Ender Bow regens, but once our Ender Bow regens, we're gonna pearl on him again, and then we should be good. I think we have him right here. What's he on? He's on two. Alright, Jimmy's just a one hit. Nice. And then we're gonna go ahead and teleport out of here. We're not looking too bad. We can actually make an Aries, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. See what we can get out of that. And then we can make our diamond pants as well. Alright. Got some gold. Not bad, not bad. We got our two G heads. Um, got a few gaps, got our totem, so we're not looking too bad. I would say we're looking pretty good right now. But we're back at zero zero, and I don't see anybody. We're going to use our tracker pack again to see if it'll lead us to anybody else. But I really don't know where my dogs took me, because <laughs> I'm not finding anybody. All right, I see somebody over here. They're, oh, they're three fours. This person is stacked. I think this is this creeper. Oh, whoever they are. Oh, man. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I don't know if we win this game. Orkin is over here full diamond with a flame bow. I am half, so that should be a bit of an advantage. I'm also gonna enderbow to mid. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and get the open shot. Oh, should we able to go right there? Maybe, oh, nope. Okay, <laughs> that didn't really work the way I thought it would. I thought I had calculated that perfectly, but I was not even close. I don't really know who's the most stacked. I'm pretty sure Orkin is the most stacked. I think I'm just gonna sit back and observe. What do I need? I need a chest plate, so I think Dark Soul. 
might be the best person we go for. This is definitely our best bet at getting a kill. Alright, and then we just use our endo bar right there. We should be out of water. We should have him here. Alright, got that chest plate. Roger prop four. How did I not pick that up? Nice try, noob. <laughs> they can make a little bit more healing too. And I can also make an Ares. Ares in DM is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. Anything good? Some gold? I'll take that for sure. All right, we are a little bit more stacked now. We're full diamond, so we have a pretty good chance of winning this game. T with Sin is pretty low. Um, so I kind of want to go for him. Where's T with Sin? This, I think this is them over here. They're on 11. All right, nice. We literally just dropped them so quickly. Uh, I'm going to offhand my totem. I think we might just have to go in on this guy at the bottom. I will say that we have three G heads. And he's taking a bit of damage up there too, which is pretty good. Go for mid. No, this is my game to win. We really have to pay attention here. I don't want to get cleaned. I don't know this, I don't know why this guy just keeps going for me. Doesn't make any sense. It's okay. Yo, I don't know what is going on. Dude. Alright, this guy's really just throwing our game. We're trying to get the kill here, but... Alright. We're gonna G out right here. Just trade. Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck, dude? We're gonna enderbell on this guy. This knockback fish is gonna be so bad, so annoying. Our arm is still good, so we... Give it G-head. You have another? <laughs> this guy is so stacked. I'm going- I think we got him. <laughs> GG. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty intense final fight. So yeah, anyways, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.